Welcome back to Waza Wednesday. This week we're going to take a look at a couple different variations of the kata wansu and how we can apply those. So first one we're going to look at has the shuto circling out. That circle makes for a good cover against a large haymaker type swing. So if he swings and I cover, I've got a good barrier here and then my shuto pins this down to my body as I strike into the neck. After that in the kata, you'll see a driving punch where this arm comes across and then this pull while you step into kosadach and strike down low. So from that haymaker, I cover, pull down, strike, but if he blocks this, I want that hand. So as long as I've applied pressure to it, he should be pushing toward me as well. If I take this hand and punch, it gives me a little bit of slack in his arms and then I'm going to hook the arm he blocked with, pull it, that's my hikite, and as I step forward into my kosadachi and strike low, I can actually armbar him across my body here. Normally the kata steps out from there, but as we've addressed in a previous Waza Wednesday, you can spin in this stance. So from here, if I spin, he gets driven to the floor. Now if I step forward, my knee actually has a tendency to run into his face. So from the other side, we have a block and cover, we strike. If he blocks this, I can punch underneath to get a little bit of slack on this arm, hook it, pull it across my body as I step in so that I can get my arm bar in this stance, twist to drive him to the floor. And as I said, if you step forward from here, you have a tendency to drive your knee into their face. So the other variation of this kata that we see has this shuto with the arm pulling back rather than pinning, and it doesn't come up to the side this way. That works a little bit better off of something like a straight punch where we can parry it and pull it as we strike. Little differences on how you would enter. Uh, you can also find that as just an entry from, for example, a clinch. If we're clinched up here, perhaps I want to make some space, so I'm going to bring this arm around to this side of his neck and drive it in. And if he starts to resist that with his hand, I can start to do the same technique here. 